there we go right okay boys so we've talked about challenge week um i've just mentioned poor mr bright and we had to send him back and i've just realized it was jago who broke mr bright <laughs> by keeping him awake all night so best bits from you because you both went last year what's yeah, your yeah. best bits uh oh, where do we start loads of good stuff um there was a big walk to the camp um, that was really good everyone joking around having fun yeah uh how long do you really reckon uh, yeah it was really hot how long does it take you to walk in it's a good couple of maybe a couple yeah, of hours it's a good walk yeah, yeah. hour and a bit 40 yeah. minutes maybe good yeah. yeah and then we had we had the sunset walk once we'd settled down and then we were we were doing a <laughs> all the students we we all went in like in the middle of our tent spot in like the bit where we were all sleeping and we were doing like a try not to laugh yeah. challenge. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone else knew about that till now. Mm -hmm. And then we also had we had your jokes all sat around Which inside are the gazebo. Very funny. Yeah. Oh, they're yeah, very they're top, top notch. Yeah, good, good. Funny. We had a few stories, didn't we? Yes. Yeah. That was good. What was your favourite bit? Mm, probably the surfing. The surfing. I really enjoy the water and like surfing and all that. Brilliant stuff. Yeah, it's a good week. So the year seven should really look forward to yeah. it, shouldn't Yeah, they would re yeah, definitely. Fantastic. Good Amazing stuff. week. So last question, what is your favourite bit about like teaching? That's, that's a tough question because I think in, in one day of teaching you do so many different things mm. and there'll be so many good bits to your day. You know, first and foremost, I'm a science teacher and I absolutely love teaching my subject. Chemistry is my favourite and you know, just having a, a, a teaching students chemistry. But do you know what I think it's more than that, I think? Seeing students at this time of the year makes me realise why we work so hard throughout the year. So you've got your year 11s, you know, in a week and a bit's time, we're going to have Leavers Day to mm. see all those young people who've, you know, worked their socks off during their exams. You know, it's a great day. I love the bit when we clap them out at the end of the day, mm. you know, at the end when we all mm. stand around and they all filter through the school year 11s. Seeing that, it sort of makes you realise why you do the job. Um, and, the, and the knock-on effect of that is when I bump into students, which I do all the time, and I may have taught them 15 years ago, two years ago, five, and they tell me what they're doing, and they reminisce about, oh, sir, do you remember when this happened? You know, mm. um, that's when you know it's worthwhile doing, when you know that they've gone on, they, yeah. got, they were successful at college, mm. they've got the job they wanted. So, yeah, I suppose it's that, really, seeing people do really well. And it doesn't just have to be academically you know, just seeing people growing to really good young people, um, whether they're achieving in sports, etc. Yeah. So I think that's it. Seeing the full cycle of everyone go through is, is what really makes it worthwhile. Yeah, that sounds really great. Uh, thank you very much, Mr Goodwin, for your time. We yes. enjoyed it. We especially enjoyed the humour, and I'm yes. sure everyone at home does as well. Good, good. And I guess good that good. leaves one thing to say. Have, Have a great, great weekend. weekend.